yeah guys so let's continue from where we stop so um so now the first thing we need to create so actually we need to create three things now yeah so the first one uh the first item we need to create is the gantt we need to create the gantt chart then we need to create the histogram to show the resource usage then on, on top of that we need to create the s curve okay so uh so let's start with the gantt okay so this is the table so that's the um the activities the relationship and also the duration in weeks then the resources so we're going to use these resources now so let's start so i would say weeks so i'll say a b b c g e f g h i j k and hell okay so um so week so now we start from week zero so week one up to week um up to week 30. if you have any question please drop it in the comments below so the first activity activity a so what we need to do with that um, is starting from day one to day four. Okay. So day one to day four. And don't forget in the previous class our critical part was B E F then I K and L. Okay. So A finishing day four. I'll color that as green. B finishes in day six. I'll make that red because it's critical. Then C start from the end of day one. And let's go four days. Finishes on day eight. So that's green. Okay. Then D starts when this finishes. And it's two days, okay. Um, then E, E is after B, okay. This is on day 12, it's critical, yep, okay. Um, F starts after E. Finishes on day 19, so that's critical as well. G starts at the same time as F, and uh, it's three days, it's not critical. Then um, H is dependent on D, yeah. H is dependent on D, so this is D. And that finishes on day 15. That's green as well. So the next one is I. I start on day 20 and finishes on day 21. It's critical. Yeah. Okay. It's critical. Then J, J starts on the 22 to 27, it's not critical, then um, at the same time, K starts and K finishes two days later, 29, it's critical, and the last one, the last activity L okay so L um, de is dependent on both of these but it can only start when K finishes so it's four days so it pushes the end date to day 33 okay so that's what we had um, earlier on okay so day 33 so that's where 
stopped okay so uh so the next thing that we need to do we need to populate for okay so i, I will say here men per week okay then i will say So the first one here, um, activity A, so the resources is 4, so it's got 4 resources per week. So for each week here, we put 4, okay. The next one, activity B, it's got 3 resources, so I put 3 here. And the next one, activity C, is 5, so I put 5 here. The next one is five as well. Next one is two. The next one is three. Um, next one is four. So that's G. So it's four. Next one is four as well. This one is five. This is two. And this is four. Okay. So what we need to do now? So we need to calculate the number of resources that we require um, for each week. Don't forget this resource. This is the same thing. It's the same resource. Um, so now we need to create a formula here. So to sum and drag it out okay sorry so this should not be captured all right so yeah that's what we have so now we need to calculate we need to do the cumulative here so to say this equals to this plus this enter drag that across so we have 197 in total cumulative which is the value we need for our s curve okay so now um to generate the uh, histogram so what we need to do is to click on this week then click on the first one okay then go to insert recommended charts okay click on um clustered columns okay so what you can do you can open this you can move it to the say chart yeah you can move the chart so i want to move it to a new sheet okay so i'm call it is to ground okay so that's our instagram so that's the week and that's the resource requirement okay so we can see here so it's seven seven so the lowest um resources required in this period or actually this period so week 28 and 29 that's when we require the lowest amount of resources so we have a huge demand of resources in week 13 14 and 15. so in this case now you need to know the number of resources you have in your pool so for example let's say uh, the total number of uh, resources we have in our resource pool is eight 
so that means our limit here will be eight so anything above eight will be over allocation okay so that would mean this period will be over allocation so we need to to bring resources from a less critical activity to support here or we need to get additional resources okay so let's go back to our uh, table so now we need to calculate the um, or generate the s curve as well so don't forget when you were generating the s curve you need to take the concentration of the cumulative value that's when you can get your, your curve so insert recommended so this so you've got that as well so we can move it to a new chart um, yeah there you have it so that's your s curve and that's your um instagram okay there you go there you have it um so i hope you've enjoyed this this series this section so don't forget the way we did it so follow this link again based on the critical part diagram we uh, developed earlier to generate this relationship and also we populated on each activity here the number of resources we require we added those resources together to give us what we need each week in total so we know what we needed each week then we need to calculate the cumulative values to get the s curve so that's what we do so i use this part of the table this value and also this then generate your insert generate recommended chart then you go back to do the same thing for your uh for your s curve so if you want to you know design your s curve you know there are different ways you can you know you can go about it so you can come here and say you know instead of just one tick line you want something different you know you can change the color you can do you know different different stuff in there um with your s curve okay so if you have any question let me know um drop a comment in the description below please um like share and subscribe to our channel thank you uh see you in the next one cheers